we study and allow the Holy Spirit to do the teaching. Verse 1. For every high priest taken from... What is the point if you can't try Jesus Christ? If you can't just give Jesus a chance. You are a child of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 7 says... This book of evil personally and how it can indeed grow you in your ministry, in your spiritual life. Let us rub mind together and allow God to be glorified. Jesus Christ. You have given me victory. The Bible says that those that are in Christ, they are more than conqueror. Hallelujah. He says that there is no condemnation. So begin to claim that scripture this moment as you step out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. I welcome you if you are joining us from Africa, from Asia, Middle East, the American continent, Europe. Wherever part of the world you're joining us from, the Bible says the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. Glory, hallelujah. This is the hour of encouragement, the encouragement hour. Hallelujah. It's been a long time this we've been on this section, but thanks be to the Lord God Almighty who is giving us strength to travel and to prevail in the name of Jesus. As, as uh, David have already exhorted himself encouraged himself with the scripture in some in one of the psalm 20 20 uh, 20 23 hallelujah towards the end of it in verse 6 he says surely goodness and mercy shall follow me he, he, he wasn't he wasn't saying god said to him he was declaring it upon himself it was an, it, a prayer of declaration Hallelujah. So, child of God, continue in that utterance of prayers of declaration and uh, allow the utterances that come from your mouth be a source of encouragement also to your soul, to your spirit, and to your body. Hallelujah. I declare that goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Quickly, I just want to encourage somebody out there with the scripture. Perhaps you, 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 there is a little opening of doubt or there is something that is not so clear to you. I want you to, I would like you to just listen and, um, and connect in the Holy Spirit. Connect with the Spirit of God. Connect in the faith. Connect with your faith and allow the Spirit of God to bring clarity and encouragement in your life in the name of Jesus. Perhaps you are lost. You say, which, what is the ministry God has given unto me? What is the ministry of that God has committed to my care? Hallelujah. There are so many ministries that God has released to his children. Hallelujah. So it's not something that you need to be scrapping on. The only thing is that connect to the unique ministry God has given to everyone. Then from there, you begin to know which one has God reveals, you know, to you, which one he has called you to, you know, to function in. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. So we will be looking at a unique ministry that is given to every believer. Unique ministry that is given to every believer. And that ministry was revealed to Paul, the apostle. Hallelujah, with a clarity. There are other ministry, there are other service or uh, 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 mission that can come under play under this ministry that is a generic one. Hallelujah to every believer. So in terms of your marriage, in terms of your business, in terms of your, your spiritual life, your physical growth, this must hook up. It must link up to that ministry that has been identified by the power of God's revelation, by the Holy Spirit dealing with Paul. Hallelujah. So he was writing to the Corinthian church and he exposed this ministry, you know, to the brethren in Corinthians. Hallelujah. And God Almighty is in infinite mercy, is bringing this to your knowledge, to encourage you, 
that perhaps do not be lost in diverse of ministries or diverse of services if you're able to hook up with this this ministry theme that we energize your service brother you don't have to hold a big church for you to know that you have a ministry hallelujah as a believer you don't have to hold a, a large fellowship for you to know that you are, you are you have a ministry hallelujah you don't have to borrow money or mortgage things to, for you to know that you're a ministry hallelujah there's a unique ministry god has given unto every child of god every believer hallelujah every christian that are born again every born again child of god and that unique ministry is what i want to encourage you with quickly with the scripture second corinthians chapter i'm going to reach from chapter 14 for chapter 14 verse i'm going to read 13 to 21 so second corinthians chapter 5 verse 14 to 21 a quick one and uh, little little uh comment into it for the love of christ verse 14 for the love of christ constrains us because we thus judge that if one died for all then then we then we are all dead hallelujah so there is a judgment there is a there is a there is a caption there is a general truth there is a general acceptance that if one die for all that means all have died hallelujah if one pays the price for all it means all other individuals or people that are attributed to that benefit have nothing to pay hallelujah praise the lord and this is a truth that paul was revealing to to the church in corinthians so he went on saying that in verse 15 and that he died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves that means because you have you have put yourself you have come under that benefit so henceforth because somebody has paid for you for the price that you ought to have paid so henceforth the person owns you owns you as as an individual so what you will do is that you will not start you will not start walking in line to pleasing that person hallelujah praise the lord so in a spiritual context paul put it that in verse 15 and that he that died for all that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves but unto him which died for them and rose again so our lord jesus christ has paid the price henceforth as a child of god you live unto him you live unto christ you begin to yearn what christ yearn hallelujah yet it might not be easy because you still carry flesh but because the the wages of sin the break the the, the burden of sin has been taken away so you have a great liberty to start pleasing god in the effort in the righteousness in the sanctification that you begin to you know fashion out towards him through his through the scriptures hallelujah as the scripture will reveal to you as you grow up in him so henceforth you no longer live you live unto him which died for them and rose again and the bible says in verse 16 wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh yes there's no other man after the flesh that have fulfilled this no man so any man that wants to put himself to say you must know me before you know god there's no other man in the flesh christ has fulfilled this in the flesh once and for all for the children for the people that have accepted his mission and the benefit that comes with the mission hallelujah praise the lord and he said there wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh yea though we have known christ after the flesh yet now henceforth 
know we him no more. So he has he, has, he won't come in the flesh again to come and be fulfilling what he has already said. It is finished. Hallelujah. It is finished. It is finished. It is finished. He has paid the price. He has paid the price for you. So do not allow any man to put you under guilt. Any man to put you under 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 bondage. Hallelujah. Just make sure that you are walking in line according to we that have bought you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. And he said, therefore, based on this knowledge, Paul now made a open declaration. Therefore, that means there's things that have come ahead. There are certain statements that have been said before. And based on that background of that statement, therefore, brother, therefore, he said, if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, how can you be in Christ? You have to be born again. How can you be born again? You have to accept that the Lord Jesus Christ has paid the price, the price for sin, the price for your transgression, the price of every wrong that you're supposed to be recompensed over. Christ has paid it for you, sealed and dusted, spiritual, uh, declared, declared, hallelujah, and, and sanctified, hallelujah. So you don't need to move heaven and earth for you to pay a price. Hallelujah. There are so many contests that price is being used in the Bible or works is being used in the Bible. But the principal, the main one that dominates every other work, Christ has fulfilled it, sealed it, accomplished it, certified by the heavens. Hallelujah. And he said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Brother, you are a new creation. If, if somebody tells you that you are you, bec you because of your sin, you now have a, a kind of a scar that will be permanent there. That will no. You are a new creature with a new mind, with a new heart. If people are going to see the scar, let them see. But you, as a person that have been redeemed, that have been bought by the precious commitment and precious um, price that Christ paid. You no longer think of the consequences of the wrong you have done in time past. Your mind is being renewed. Your mind is being set into appreciating the price that Christ has paid. Every repercussion of whatever you have done before is gone. So the subject matter is you, not the people around. People around might see you in the former nature you are. But you as a human, you as a redeemed being, should know that you are a new, when a new creature, me a new creature, not a, not a rehabilitated creature, not a renovated creature, a new creature. That's what Paul wants the Corinthians church to know. Because there were notions that, you know, um, well, I am not new, I am old, I am old, I am new, I am in between. No, God has not put anybody in between. What God has given to you as you accept the price that he has paid for your behalf. And as you begin to walk in pleasant literally unto him, you become a new creature. A new creature is what God gives you. Hallelujah. It's not what you work for. It's a new creature that God gave you. He said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. All things, not some things. All things in the eyes of God, he sees new things because he sees you through the price that Christ Jesus has paid. So when God look at you, he see newness. He see newness washed by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. So, child of God, celebrate the newness of Christ, of God, of the new nature God has given unto you. Leave those backstory, 
backstory exhortation, backstory preaching, backstory guilt driven messages. Concentrate on the newness God has given unto you. So, therefore, if any man be in Christ, whether you are from Africa, from Asia, from Middle East, from, from, from America, Europe, wherever part of the world you are from, if any man be in Christ, he did not say with Jews be in Christ, but he did not say if Christians be, he said if any man be in Christ, hallelujah, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Be all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Your marriage become new. Maliyadaba, your children become new. Your husband become you become new. Things around you, you begin to see newness. Because there's no way a new thing can begin to see a whole thing. Hallelujah. If all about you is new, every eyes around you is new, they will see newness. Hallelujah. It is the whole eyes that will always see the whole things, not appreciate the newness. So that is what Paul wants the church to know, that we ought to be seeing newness. Newness. There might be fault, there might be weaknesses. Yes, newness is what we are commanded to see. And based on this, because there were so many contradictions and contrary, you know, exhortation going on, mindset being driven by craftiness of, of people Paul now declare in verse 18 and all things are of God because you are a new creature because God has made all things to become new now then all things are of God who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. So we have been reconciled. Any man that say you are not, you are as a child of God. I'm speaking, I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to a born again child of God. And perhaps if you are not a child of God, you are not a born again child of God, and you want to relinquish, you want to give out your life to Jesus. You want to accept that He has paid the price for you, and you living according to Him. Hallelujah. I pray that this morning, if it's morning time, this night, if it's night time, this evening, if it's evening time, that you will begin to live in the newness of a new creature in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. So the Bible says he has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. He has reconciled us once and for all. Once and for all, he has reconciled us. So if you are as you are you have accepted that Christ died for you or died for you in the with, with that word that was started and you also have died then you have been reconciled once and for all glory be to the Lord and the word of God says that to us himself by Jesus Christ and had given us the ministry of reconciliation and that is where I'm coming from that is where I want to anchor the ministry of reconciliation is given to the new creature. Those that have, their mindset has changed. Those that have known that new or that is knowing that they are new creature. God has committed divine assignment, a generic assignment, a mission that will not be broken. And that mission is reconciliation, the ministry of reconciliation. If everything you are doing in God's name is not towards reconciliation, not because of you want people to like you, mm -mm. not because you want people to be subject to you, mm -mm. not because you want people to hear you, not because you want people to submit to you, but because you want them to be reconciled to Christ, to God who has reconciled us, the children of God, to, through Christ Jesus Christ, to himself, then you are in a pathway. Child of God, if you are confused about the ministry, for you to put your effort, put your effort in the ministry of reconciliation. Make peace 
bring people to peace. Bring peace to people. We are carriers of peace. No wonder Jesus Christ said, any house that you go into when he was talking to his disciples, say peace be unto If there is a child of peace there, you will receive the peace that you have brought. So we carry peace. We are carriers of peace. That is our new nature. That is our new creation. Our disposable character. Glory be to the Lord. So you are a new creature, a born again child of God because you have accepted Christ and you can run with the ministry of reconciliation. As your father has reconciled the world, we that have sinned, one came, died for us, he paid the price that we might accept the benefit that comes from the liberation that he has given unto us. The same way you must walk with a new mindset. That you are doing this assignment, you are doing this service, you are doing this ministry, so that people, even in their weaknesses, can see God's love, can see God's redemption. Hallelujah. Glory. And the word of God went on to say that to wit that God was in Christ, yes, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses. Hey perfect father, not imputing their trespasses. Tres trespasses. He was reconciling the world. The world he was reconciling. So this is an open check of reconciliation. Then how can you gain is by you knowing, accepting that Christ has paid the price for you. Then you bring yourself under the place of the benefit. You begin to enjoy the benefit. Nothing more. Do not mind those people that makes it so, 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 so complex so very hard he said that my yoke is very easy so the lord has made it so easy for you to have an access to the redemption work that he has done glory hallelujah he says the word of god now says they are you know imputing their trespasses unto them and had committed unto us the word of reconciliation so each time you see me coming out with diverse sections of ministerial work online, this is driven by the word, by the sole aim of reconciliation, not to grow the channel. I will appreciate it, not for people to click like, like, like. I will appreciate it, but the major aim is that men will be reconciled, even in their private house or in that private room you are, in that private office, wherever you are in your car hearing this message is our aim my aim is for you to see that god has reconciled you or for you to know that you can be reconciled to god hallelujah through jesus christ who has paid the price our lord jesus christ glory and it says unto them and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation he said now then we are ambassadors for Christ. So the reason why you should go out there and display and show that you're a new creature is because you're an ambassador. Ambassadors heart on behalf. Speaks on behalf. Heart on behalf. So you are an ambassador for Christ. Glory, hallelujah. Ambassador for the ministry of reconciliation. Child of God, daughter of God, that woman in that marriage, you are an ambassador. That man in that marriage, you are an ambassador. You servant of God in that local church, wherever you are, you are an ambassador. So do not allow the tradition of man to subdue your ambassadorship in relation to the ministry of reconciliation. Glory be to the Lord. Hallelujah. And the word of God said, then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. My prayer to you this morning or this moment, if it is afternoon, night time, that planet earth you are, is that as you are confused about the ministerial work or the ministry work God wants you to walk in, remember that my prayer is that you will be reconciled to God true knowing that God has committed to your care to us, giving us as a generic ministry, the ministry of reconciliation. That is what can make us to live peace with all men. 
that is what we can make us to begin to uh, begin to be poor in the spirit towards knowing God, testing after God, testing after His word, testing after what He, the Lord, wants. Hallelujah! Praise be the name of the Lord. Glory. And He has be he, he, he has said, He pray ye in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. And the final verse as I round up, for he has made him to be sin for us. Seal once and for all. Makes be sin for us. Who knew no sin? That we might be made the righteousness of God in Christ in him. Glory, sealed and dusted. So the righteousness that supersede your own righteousness. I'm not saying that you should not start sinning. No, no, no. That's what Paul said. He said, do, do we not continue in sin that grace may abound? No. But there is a crown of accomplishment over your life as a child of God. And that is the crown of the righteousness of Christ. In Christ Jesus. We, you have obtained it. He has made you to end that righteousness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let me just read that through verse 21. Say, For he had made him to be sin for us. Who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness. We might be made. Oh, Malisha Balagadosa Prakata. He says that indeed you might be made you. We might be made the righteousness. We might be made. Glory be to God. The righteousness of God in him. Glory be to God. So you have made the righteousness. That is a newness. That is a new creature. That's why you are born again. You are not born again to attend churches. You are not born again for, for the sake of carrying religion. Hallelujah. Telling people you are a Christian. No, you are not born again. You are born again because God has made you. He has made you to, you know, to be crowned. Glory be to God. He, has, he said he, uh, that we might be made, that he, we might be made in the, made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The reason why he became sin for you, he paid the iniquity, he paid the transgression, he paid the ultimate price, is that you might be made. You might be made. So you have to, you have to accept that Christ has already paid the price for you. Nowadays, people are putting so many stringes and stringes and conditions. You have to accept that Christ has paid the price for you. And you become the made righteousness of God. Hallelujah. You become because it's made you, you made you, you'll be made. Glory be to God. So there is a making righteousness. And there is a made righteousness. Maybe as time goes on, we'll begin to we'll begin to break this into, into, into more clarity. There is the made righteousness in Christ and the making righteousness in Christ. And I pray that the Lord will make you to know that you have been given the ministry of reconciliation. Do not allow the lies in the world to deceive you that you have not been made. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. I pray tonight, this afternoon, this morning, wherever time you are in the planet Earth, that the Lord God will open, continue to open your heart and show you the, the knowledge of Him that you ought to know in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the truth will set you free. I pray that the truth that you know every day will begin to liberate your soul in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Glory be to God. See you in another session. And, um, and I pray that God will continue to strengthen you in all your ways. In Jesus' name. Amen. begin to penetrate into the atmosphere